Hey everybody, Frickworks here. I am about to do a mass pin blank pour. I've got nine cups of resin out. I have bought new pin molds. So I'm going to get all these mixed up and do multiple pin color pours. Everything in the back is a solid Pearl X. I've got Scarlet, Green Apple, and uh, Sapphire. Then in the middle is a Brilliant Gold, uh, Antique Bronze, and just Silver. And then these, for the opaques, I'm gonna do Standard White, I'm gonna do a kind of a mint green with the white and green together, and then a lighter blue with the white and blue together. And these are just gonna be mixed color blanks. I always like to do an opaque, a metallic, and then a color of the alumilite. So we'll get this all mixed up and uh, I'll start showing you pouring these and what color combinations I come Here up with. Here are all the blank or all the uh, resins mixed and poured. So you've got your sapphire, scarlet, green apple, silver, bronze, gold. Uh, this is a blue and white, only white, and that's a white and green. I used pretty heavy green, so it's a forest green color. So I'm gonna pour these into my molds here. Um, they're going to all pretty much be a different kind of blank. I'm gonna probably pour the color in first and go back through and pour each of the different colors uh, for the metallic and the solids on top of them. And they'll, uh, they'll end up pretty neat looking blanks. So let's get to that. We have the blanks all cured here. Uh, some of these, any of the ones that I used with the dark forest green uh, were really tough to cure and you could see they're really lumpy. What, what that means is the uh, resin cross links when it cures so it kind of forms uh, strands almost and if it does it smoothly you get you know a good surface like you see here or here and when it doesn't do it smoothly and some of it cures and some of it doesn't this is what you get you get kind of lumps and, and anything I use that green that real forced green in it, it ended up like that so I'm, I'm thinking it's a an issue possibly with the green alumilite dye or 
with maybe the batch of it that I got, but uh, that seems to, it, it's happened previously on other blanks, and this was kind of my aha moment of it only happened on these depending on, it, it, regardless of what I used with it. So let's pop some of these out and see how they look. about one of these how they ooh, a little sticky still so all that came up to the surface too we got blue all at the bottom and it all came to kind of the surface of it well, that's an interesting one let's get this other one out of here this one was the hardest one because it had no other heat from other blanks ooh yeah, and see it stuck a little bit. It's still sticky on one end here, it's sticking to me. So, yeah, that that green is not a not a great dye. I don't know what the deal with it is. These are pretty interesting blanks. Some of these I've taken note of, and I'll probably make some like them again. This one's pretty neat with the white and the gold. What turned out to be kind of orangey, even though it said it's scarlet. So There you have it. Learned a little bit about these in particular here with the green dye, but everything else turned out a nice, nice looking blank. So... And as always, thank you for liking or thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.